Come, let us sing to every nation. Great is our God and He. He is the rock of our salvation. Lift up your hearts and sing. So sing, for we are God's people. For He has shown us His ways. He gathers us to His table to partake of His grace. Come, let us sing to every nation. Great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation lift up your hearts and sing great is our god and king in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. The Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth. To people of good will, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. 
For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good Amen. Let us pray. God, o God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. From the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba, and the empties into the sea, the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creatures that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes from the sea, shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Praise to you. Thanks be to God. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the, ho the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not. Though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea, the waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of the dawn. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of the hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the outstanding things He has wrought on earth. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, 
the holy dwelling of the Most High. Uh, please all stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I have chosen. Consecrated this house, says the Lord, that my name be there forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen sheep and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take this out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recall the words of Scripture, Zeal for your house will consume me. At this the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years. And you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture. The word and the word of Jesus had spoken. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today, we celebrate the Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran Basilica. Sa Roma ho yun. At ang papistahan pong ito ay nagpapaalala sa atin ng pagkakaisa natin bilang Kristiyano na bagamat uh, tayo ay galing sa iba't ibang lugar, ang simbahan po ang nagiging lugar kung saan tayo nagtitipon para magdasal, para makipagtagpo sa Diyos. At hindi ba yun naman ang simbahan? Kinikilala natin bilang tahanan ng Diyos. Ang presensya ng Diyos ay naririto. Kaya ang bawat simbahan at ang simbahan ay banal na lugar. Hindi naman tayo pupunta sa simbahan para mag-picnic, hindi ho ba? Hindi naman po tayo pupunta ng simbahan para magchismisan. Pupunta tayo pa ng simbahan para magdasal. At ang katagpo natin sa dasal ay ang Panginoong nagmamahal sa atin. Kaya ho, ang simbahan po ay lugar kung saan ang Diyos ang nakakasalamuha natin. And in this Mass, we dedicate this Mass always for the pilgrims, the devotees, coming from different parts, from different provinces, coming here to Quiapo to pray. Or even our devotees who are abroad, who could not go here physically, but through our online masses, 
they are able to join us in prayer. The church is the house of God, the dwelling place of God, and we encounter God. Pero magandang hindi lang ang gusaling simbahan ang makita natin bilang isang simbahan, pero maganda rin makita na ang pamayanan natin bilang Kristiyano ay simbahan din. The church is not only the physical structure, but the church also is the community gathered. Hindi lang ho ito, kundi tayo ang simbahan din. Ang simbahan na magkakasamang naglalakbay, ang simbahan na kasamang naglalakbay patungo kay Kristo. At sana wag nating makalimutan ito na bilang mga Kristiyano, magkasama tayo naglalakbay, hindi kanya-kanya, hindi walang pakialamanan, kundi magkasamang naglalakbay, nagpapakita ng malasakit sa bawat isa. At hindi ba doon tayo nagkakaroon ng connection sa bawat isa? Sa pagpapakita natin ng malasakit sa bawat isa, we are able to establish that connection with one another. And what connects us is also our faith in Christ. Naalala ko ho, no? ako ho ay nakasakay at papunta po ako sa isang lugar. At yung nagmamaneho ay hindi ko kakilala. Hindi niya ako kilala, hindi ko rin siya kilala. Pero nung sinabi niya, nung sinundo ako dito, sabi niya, bakit ka dyan galing? Sa Kiyapo, no? Bakit tao galing dito? Bakit ho dyan kayo galing? Asabi ko sa kanya, ay, dyan ako nakatira. <laughs> Ganun na muna, no? Bakit ka dyan nakatira? Dahil ko, daming tanong ni Manong, ano? <laughs> Interview ba to? At, sabi niya, dyan ako nakatira kasi pari ako at ang pari nakatira sa simbahan. Tapos sabi niya, pari kayo sa Kiyapo? At sagot ko, oho. At yung driver na hindi ko kakilala, bilang sinabi sa akin, Father, deboto po ako ng Nazareno. At yung 45 minutes na biyahe, na puno ng kwentuhan at nagkaroon kami ng connection sa bawat isa, Binahagi niya na sa akin ang himala ng Nazareno na ginawa sa buhay niya. Because of his devotion and faith, we had that connection. We began to know each other. Sana bilang mga Kristiyano din, ang naguugnay sa atin, sa baw- ang bawat isa sa atin, ay ang pananampalataya natin at debosyon natin sa mahal na pong Yesus Nazareno na siya nagnanais din na pagbuklo rin tayong lahat. ba diba? Sabi ni ng, nasare, ng poong Nasareno sa Ebanghelyo, malalaman ng buong mundo na kayo'y mga alagad ko kung magmamahalan kayo. Kaya ang simbahan, hindi lang ho ang gusali, kundi ang simbahan din ay ang pamayanan. Ikaw, ako, tayo lahat, ang bumubuo ng simbahan. At sana sa paglalakbay natin, sama-sama tayo naglalakbay. Sama-sama nagmamalasakit. Sama-sama nakikiramay sa bawat isa. Walang iniiwan. Walang isinasantabi. Lahat ay tayong magkakasama naglalakbay patungo kay Kristo na minamahal natin. Because we are a pilgrim church. Isang simbahang naglalakbay. At wala akong naglalakbay na nag-iisa. Sama-sama naglalakbay. Sama-sama nagtutulungan. Patungo kay Jesus na ating minamahal. Amen. Please all stand.
Our Savior dwells in the living temple of His Church, a baptized people gathered around the successor of St. Peter. We pray to our Father inspired by the Holy Spirit as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the universal church may grow in the unity and faith through our fidelity to the Pope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations may live in peace and avoid vindic vindictiveness and rivalry. Please, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those searching for God may find the rock of Peter's faith and the courage of St. John the Baptist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may demonstrate our faith by the way we care for and use this church building. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may become living stones in the eternal temple. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you raised the body of your Son, the glorious temple of the resurrection, as his mystical body and temple on earth. We offer our prayers to you, hoping to share in the same resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Lord, we gather today in your house we kneel down and pray we ask for your mercy as we open our hearts to receive your forgiveness O Lord Lord we lift up to you for these gifts we offer for your glory we will eat this living bread we will drink this saving cup and feel your presence O Lord as we offer this bread and as we bring you this wine bless them Lord Jesus feed us now give us life send as your spirit the source of our lives and together we will serve you with love. Please all stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offering made here and grant that by it, those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in your house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the Church, the Bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, 
so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, may she be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. This only. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and we profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please own you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Para sa lahat ng tatanggap na banal na kumunyon, sasagot po tayo ng Amen. Pagkasabi ng pari o ng lay minister ng katawan ni Kristo at isubo agad sa bibig bago malisara pa ng pari o lay minister. Sumunod po tayo.
no greater love than yours for you laid down your life for friends you called your own no greater love than yours no greater love than yours you took the bitter cup became our bread and wine no greater love than yours dakilang pag ibig wala nang darai handang mag-alay buhay na ansa ka ibigan inako mo ang kalis Pinapay ka ng buhay, anak ng kaligtasan, dakilang pag-ibig. Announcement, inihahandog po ng programang Home Base Plus ang mga kwento ng Himala ng poong Jesus Nazareno. Ito po ay mga dokumentaryo sa mga buhay na binago na atin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno. Mapapanood po ito bukas, linggo, sa ganap na ika ng umaga sa GMA 7. Gayun din, para sa mga nais magbahagi ng kanilang mga kwento ng mga Himala ng Nazareno, mangyari na mag-email sa himalanazareno gmail.com Inaanyayahan po ang lahat na sumubaybay. Mga kadiboto, mab- mabibili pa rin po sa ating Paris Finance Office ang Nazareno Images, Nazareno Medalyon, at ang Nazareno Prayer Booklet. Available pa rin po ang ating mga All Souls Envelope sa mga nagnanais. Maaari kayong kumuha na malapit sa mga pintuan ng ating simbahan sa Information Guard, isulat lamang po ang mga pangalan ng mga kamag-anak, kaibigan at mga kakilalang na mayapa o sumakawilang buhay na. At sa buong buwan ng Nobyembre, ito po ay atin isasama sa lahat ng mga misa na magaganap sa atin simbahan. Pagkatapos ng misa, wiwisikan po ang lahat ng banal na tubig. Pinakikiusapan ng lahat na manatili lamang muna sa inyong mga lugar. Tangin sa Quezon Boulevard o Plaza San Juan lamang ang labas ng lahat. Sumunod pa tayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw at pagsisimba sa Basilica Menor at Pambansan Dambana, Jesus Nazareno. Please all stand. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant we pray that by our partaking of this sacrament, we be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us continue to pray for our dearly departed loved ones. Let us pray. O God, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant unto the soul of your servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that through the devout supplications they may obtain the pardon which they have always desired. Absolve, O Lord, we beseech you the soul of your servants and handmaids from every bond of sin that in the glory of the resurrection they may be raised up with yours with your saints and elect unto the newness of life through Christ our Lord amen
Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed are you, O God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have given us your only Son to be our way to you. Make us follow him generously, faithfully, and lovingly. Merciful Jesus of Nazareth, you have revealed God's grace and unconditional love for us at the cross. You set your church in this world from which the true light would shine for all to see. Grant that we who enter this holy shrine may walk in your ways as disciples of justice, peace, mercy, and hope. We offer our prayers for the sick, the oppressed, the youth, and those in most need of your mercy. Hear our humble petitions, bless these religious articles, that they may be fervent in prayer and charity. As we continue our journey as your pilgrim people here on earth, May we set our hearts to the road to heaven, our true home and reward, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin, pinipintuho ka namin, aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus mong inamatayan ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, 